Now, the automotive industry as we know it is going through a radical change. The very idea of what a car is, is changing. The dinosaur petrol part cars that we've come to love aren't getting enough attention. Today, here it is, unveiled in India for the first time in the flesh, the Lamborghini Urus. So where do you even begin with a car like this? I guess it's only fair to start with the exteriors. Now when the pictures were first unveiled of the Euros, I was a little skeptical because it looked like an Aventador and a Huracan amalgamated and got blown up by 1.5 times. But in the flesh, this looks perfect, classically Lambo. So the first thing you're going to notice is this massive aggressive front bumper with these huge hexagonal air intakes. Looks incredible, right? From the side, you have the strong shoulder line with the aggressive stance of the car sloping downwards. And if you look at the overall silhouette of the car, it's a typical hourglass figure. Again, classic supercar proportions. In the back, you have a rear diffuser, quad exhaust, even a spoiler to keep things in check. Now, this car is huge. I'm talking five meters long, two meters wide. And as a result, it needs to have a huge boot. It offers 616 liters of boot space with the seats up, around 1600 liters of boot space with the seats down. And this from a Lamborghini, what a time to be alive. Now, powering this 2.2-ton behemoth is a 4-litre twin turbocharged V8. Now, if you're anything like me, I was a little bit disappointed when I heard that Lambo is not going to drop the naturally aspirated V10 or the V12, considering they have it in their roster in this. But then, I heard the power figures. This engine produces 650 bhp, 850 newton meters of torque, where peak torque comes in from as low as 2,250 rpm, mated to an 8-speed gearbox. So this car can propel itself from 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds to 200 in 12.4 seconds and onwards to a top speed of 305 kilometers per hour, making this the fastest SUV in production. Well, not exactly because it's not in production just yet, but insane. Now helping this car stop is the world's largest carbon ceramic disc brakes ever fitted to a production vehicle and this is huge. The car is also available in a choice of rims from 21 to 23 inches which again is unique to Lamborghini. Pirelli has developed a custom set of P0 tyres for this car that's available in seven choices of different compounds. Now let's go check out what the inside's like. Three-seater configuration as standard but you can have for an optional extra this two-seater captain seat zone and wow this is such an awesome place to be a lot of bits of carbon fiber you have this cool little mood lighting and it really does feel special there's also Lamborghini branded infotainment system which is pretty damn impressive let's check out the front in the front, Lamborghini's philosophy is to make you feel like a pilot. You sit slung nice and low. You're surrounded by a bunch of screens with a lot of exotic materials used all around the car. The command center is this unit in the middle that Lamborghini called the tambour. This allows you to change the driving modes and alter the characteristics of the car. It comes standard with Strada, Sport and Corsa mode with an additional Neve or Snow driving mode. However, you have to pay extra for off-road and sand mode. Now the Lamborghini Urus has been unveiled in India at a price of 3 crore rupees ex showroom New Delhi but even if you have the money for one you can't own one till 2019 so this is a car that hasn't even started production yet and it's already been sold out thank you so much for watching this video do let us know what you thought about the Urus in the comment section below i will see you soon take care bye bye